beginning of rock and roll. My name is Chow Khan. I'm a little Richard original drummer. Regular from New Orleans, Louisiana. I play with some of the greatest entertainers that ever walked the face of the earth. Take out the papers and the trash. Charlie Brown, baby, she's got it. Bum, 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 Tootie Fruity, good booty. Tootie Fruity. You listen to begin to rock and roll with Charles Connor. I'm a drummer, man. Here's Long Tall Sally. Gonna tell and marry by Uncle John. He claimed me as a music, but he had a lot of fun. You're listening to the beginning of rock and roll with Charles Connor. The city of Macon, Georgia, going to have little Richard Childhood home moved. I have a couple of stories about that house. We used to rehearse in the living room in the 50s. We used to rehearse with the full band up in Richard's house in the whole neighborhood. And you, you hear you know, a lot of clapping and stuff like that. Yeah, Richard sound great. Yeah, man, you guys sound great. Man, we were the hottest thing around Macon, Georgia. That's me. That lives down the street Some people think it's square But I say sweet You can see it every day It's going up and down the way My name is Charles Connor You listen to the beginning of rock and roll And that was She's Got It And she had it <laughs> And that was me playing drum on that song I was trying to give it that New Orleans second line beat You know that march beat, real stepping beat A lot of energy man We recall that 1956 You're listening to the beginning of rock and roll The beginning of rock and roll started back then when I started playing with little Richard when I was a staff musician. He said, Charles, I want you to create this beat the same way this train is moving. He said, what kind of beat is that? I said, that's eight notes. He said, that's what I want my music to sound like. So um, first session that I did with Charles when Richard hooked the session up, he said, yeah, you know, Charles, you know, he's a legend. Get him in the studio, get this going. But after the session, Richard called me that night and goes, well, how'd it go? And I go, yeah, it, it went okay. It was all right. And he goes, do you have any people in the studio? I go, what do you mean? He goes, well, Charles, you got to bring girls in there. you got to bring people in there. <laughs> you know? So the next time we did load the studio up with some, some people, and it was a lot more fun. I played with some of the greatest entertainers that ever walked the face of the earth. Little Richard, Jan Brown, Sam Cooke, Jackie Wilson, Shirley and Lee, the original coasters. Those people had talent and everything, and it was for real. V, V, five, five, four, four, four. I smell smoke in the The beginning of rock and roll. I got a girl named Bonnie Marone. Rock and roll really came from rhythm and blue. Like uh, Rich used to say, rhythm and blue had a better called rock and roll. A lot of girls, after the dance and everything, doing the rhythm and blues era, they were coming up pregnant. <laughs> but a lot of the parents, they was glad when rock and roll came out because the people of those days would dance tight and everything and all close together. But rock and roll, they would dance separate. You know, all that swinging and stuff separate, they would be apart like that. You're listening to the beginning of rock and roll. Please, 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 please. Beginning of rock and roll. My name is Charles Conn. I played with some of the greatest entertainers that ever walked the face of the earth. Clint Bradley was Little Richard and also Jan Brown, personal manager. And he would send us out on a weekend to Tennessee, Alabama, Kentucky, and different places, Georgia. And he would send Jan Brown to the beauty shop. And me and Jan Brown and sitting up in the chair, we're getting out of a hair curl. And I was, I'm sitting there with my leg across with a big cigar in my mouth. <laughs> 
the rich want us to look different. He said, I want you guys to look gay and everything and blah, blah, blah. And some of the guys had close haircuts. I ain't got curl. I ain't got no curl. And Richard wanted us to uh, put pancake makeup on, a little rouge and everything like that, and eye line, and always smell good with cologne and stuff like that. He wanted us to look different so we could play the white club down south so we wouldn't look like a threat. Because the guys say, oh, those little Richard band up with a bunch of sisters anyway. They won't mess with the girl or anything like that. But, oh, man, they, <laughs> they had a big surprise for them. You know what I mean? Wah, bam, 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 boom. That was Little Richard, Tutti Fruit. You listen to the beginning of rock and roll with Charles Connor. The original name for that song, Tutti Fruity, was Tutti Fruity Good Booty. We couldn't record it that way. Only could play it in nightclub where the head adults was. You know, Tutti Fruity, Good Booty. If it's tight, it's all right. If it's greasy, it make it easy. <laughs> The wah ba ba loo ba bam boom came from the idea of my drum. You know, wah ba ba da 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 boom. When you run up on the bass drum, boom. I'm gonna tell that very proud Uncle John. Baby, he has a misery, but he has a lot of fun. Oh, baby. This is a brand new recording of Long Tall Sally, recorded by me, Charles Connor, and the Upsetters. The Upsetters feature Kate Flannery doing her best little Richard, like only she can, and Andy Berlin, Greg Hick, and Benny Blackmore. Our new-